What's up guys? For today's watch review I've got something special. I bought this today um, in celebration of having 200 subscribers. I know that's not a big deal to a lot of you guys but to me I think that's really cool. When I started the channel I was happy with 50 um, and now we're at 200 and I really appreciate that. So anyways I went out and got myself this little present. This is the Luminox 3257. And before we get into the talking points, let me go ahead and do a quick 360 for you. Uh, really, I just want to show you the case back because I think it's really cool. Uh, so, on the case back, you can see that there is the Navy Special Warfare device, which is the Spread Eagle and the Trident and Musket. Just This is one of my... I, myself, am not a special operator but I always thought that this warfare device was one of the cooler ones just because it's huge and also just the um, the amount of work it takes to earn these I've got a lot of respect for those guys for our American warriors out there so I want to show you that if you didn't know this is what the 3200 series case backs look like and going back to the talking points let me just go ahead and reassemble my watch Alright, starting off with the first talking point, price. Uh, full disclaimer, I did buy this on a military base. So I was I bought it for tax free essentially at four hundred and sixty dollars. Looking on the internet, uh, you're probably expecting to pay more around five hundred to six hundred dollars. So unfortunately if you are a civilian, you will not get uh, the four hundred and sixty dollar price tag. Next item is tactical, schmactical, dressy, or casual. Definitely tactical. And tactical watches are Luminox's bread and butter. Um, I would say that it probably could pass as a dressy watch just because that that white face and this um, proprietary well not proprietary but um, NATO band directly from Luminox is very sharp and clean looking. Uh, next item is functions. For functions, it's pretty bare bones. I mean, it's just a analog watch. However, you do have the date indication right there, and also the bezel is a unidirectional bezel. Great for keeping track of elapsed time for divers or whatever you need to track time for. Next item is illumination. Unfortunately, I cannot get this room dark enough to really show you how awesome these tritium tubes are. Um, so when I say tritium, it's this radioactive material, right? And it's constantly glowing. However, you can't really appreciate the uh, beauty and practicality of it unless you're in a pitch black room. And unfortunately, I cannot get this room dark enough. So I'm not going to do the watch any injustice by showing off a, a shitty display um, but however if you look at pictures online and you look at the uh, glowing watch face in the dark that's exactly what it looks like so they do a really good job of the uh, back or the loom if you will for their watches next item is visibility as you can see great visibility lar or, yeah, large bold numbers very easy to read minute markers and you know the minute hand and hour hand are just really easy to see including the second hand as well next item button and crown placement there are really no issues there you've got your standard crown placement nothing to complain about it is a very comfortable watch next item band quality and comfort as far as NATO straps go this is probably the nicest quality NATO strap that I have ever owned. And it damn well better be for a couple hundred bucks. Um, it's not a surprise that the quality of this band is fantastic. It's hard to tell through the video, but in real life you can just tell that it's uh, on a level higher than your standard NATO, NATO strap. Next item, overall, should you buy? So normally, um, I would not advertise anyone spending money on I guess if you could say call it a tactical anything that's tactical cool um, however after playing around with this watch 
there's definitely a reason why a lot of people absolutely love Luminox and you know until you get your hands on one just feeling how solid and strong these watches are I would say even at uh, MSRP prices I would say it's worth it just because the quality is fantastic and they look so clean and you know even if on a basic bitch level not for any kind of practical purposes they just a good looking watch they really are um, but going back to the whole mission uh, mission ready practical side of things I mean these things will survive anything you know was it air land and sea the, it'll take it all so if you've got the money and you need a watch that can handle the elements handle anything life can throw at you then go ahead and get you a Luminox. Highly recommended. Um, other than that, that's all I got to say. I hope that this video helps you with your next watch purchase. Thank you so much for your continued support. And I will continue to look, be on the lookout for cool things. All things that are just, you know, toys for us grown-ass adults. But anyways, thanks for watching and tune in for my next video. Alright, bye.